Hey, I'm Philomena and welcome to the 5 Minute Flower Challenge. As you know, we're about to dive into five weeks of easy flower projects and I promise you they'll be easy. We'll be completing one small project every week and by the end of it, you'll have a beautiful arrangement to brighten up your space. It's all about beautiful, simple flowers to bring fragrance and colour to your home. So let's do it. So I'm at my local supermarket in the flower section uh, to see what's on offer. And there's lots of the usual flowers, some lilies and tulips. And I've just seen this cute pink Veronica, which is really wild flowery. So I'm going to grab that. And these straw flowers are really colourful. So I'm going to grab those as well. Okay, let's do it. There's literally nothing like fresh flowers to brighten up your space. As you can see, I'm at my kitchen table and it's probably not the cleanest it's ever been, but this is real life. And the whole point of this challenge is that we want it to be accessible for everyone. So all you need for this week's project is a sharp pair of scissors, if you have them, flower sheets are great, but if you don't have them, scissors are great as well. Some clear sticky tape, which we're going to show you something really cool with today. And some sort of vessel for your arrangement. Now what's really fun about this arrangement is that you can do something a little bit offbeat, like this great oversized teacup that we've got. Um, a wide mouth vase, like this rectangular glass vase, which unless you use the trick that we're going to show you today is actually quite difficult to arrange in. And what I'm going to use today, which I absolutely love, is this um, hammered tin candle holder, which I, I adore because it looks really cute and vintage. Um, and there's also these little holes all the way around where you can poke in stems and do some cool things. So what we're going to do is create a sticky tape grid over the mouth of this vase. It's going to provide some support for our flower stems and also help our flowers kind of sit a little bit more evenly and space out. I'm just gonna fill that up with a bit of fresh water. So our next step is to prepare all the stems ready to go into our arrangement. And how we do that is we remove all the lower leaves from the stem so none of the leaves are actually sitting beneath the water which can cause bacteria to grow. Um, for a softer stem like this, you can actually pinch and squeeze and run your fingers down and that removes all the leaves really nice and quickly. But it's quite nice to keep some of the foliage at the top for a bit of texture. Now that all your stems are prepped, it's time to get to the fun part. We're going to start doing a foliage base and all you need are three nice pieces of gum. We want this arrangement to look really natural and wild, so I'm going to try and avoid that symmetrical look by using one, one really long piece to start with and crossing it with a shorter piece. Now don't worry if it doesn't sit perfectly to start with. There isn't a lot holding it together at the moment and as you add more and more stems um, you'll find that you'll have more support. Finally, we're going to go for quite a short piece down the front. That'll sit really close to the rim of your vase. Just like that. Now that we have our foliage base, we're going to start adding a few of our straw flowers to fill in the gaps. You just push the stems through the holes in the, the sticky tape grid. Because we're going for the natural look, you'll want to keep some pieces quite short near the front and some longer. Now you can see there's a little bit of a gap here, so I'm going to fill that up nice and low with a couple of low blossoms. I'm just going to slip that in right in the front. Okay, so we're almost done. I'm just going to finish off with a couple of sprigs of this Veronica. 
And to give it that real wild flowery look, I'm going to have a couple of really long stems coming out the sides. Well, I think that looks pretty cute. I hope you loved the first project of the 5 Minute Flower Challenge. I can't wait to see what you get up to. Don't forget to jump onto the Flower Squad Facebook group where Mel, Gwen and myself will be waiting to answer any of your questions and give you tips if you get stuck. Thanks and I'll see you next week.